So why are spears the best weapon in Unicorn Overlord? There's a few reasons. One of the main reasons is that they are on classes that are naturally very good. So there's no debating that the Elven Sisters are arguably the best damage dealers in the game. Outside of PvP, that no one does, we are looking at one of the best board nukes in the game on two different characters that attack with hybrid attack, and as long as they get a guaranteed crit from a keen call, from a sniper amber lens, from whatever, they're going to be killing pretty much everything on the enemy team, unless something gets covered and then there'll be one enemy left, and both of them can easily kill <laughs> the entire board, and you can make it like two teams around each one and easily beat the game. So these are the best classes in the game, damage-wise. Uh, they, they require minimal to no setup, uh, but there's also other classes too, uh, like Knights and Great Knights, which just carries the entire game. And then of course you have Wyvern Master, which can uniquely use Dragoon's War Spear to Dragoon Dive, which can also carry the entire game. And then of course you have Sergeants slash Soldier, which can do more damage than you would think. Uh, this case, let me like unequip this stuff because it's kind of skewing the damage. Uh, but the physical attack 65 on Chloe, who is using Offensive Offensive. Uh, so that's actually pretty good damage, and they have Honed Spear, which does pretty good damage as well. Attack a column of enemies with a Piercing Strike, plus 50 potency if user is buffed. Cav targets cannot guard against this attack. So 180 potency uh, row, or I'm sorry, column attack. And of course, Knight has uh, Wild Rush, which, you know, row stun, or I'm sorry, column stun, very strong. Salting Lance just allows it to kill whatever is left over. Uh, it has Knight's Pursuit as well, like built-in Knight's Pursuit. It has Cav Call for damage scaling on itself and other Cavs. Uh, the nice thing about the Sergeant is it can also do Javelin Poke and attack Flyers with pretty good accuracy, which is, you know, something... It's kind of like a generalist class. It has Active Gift to give to AP, Keen Call to give crits, First Aid to Spot Heal. It has Javelin to counter Flyers. It has Hone Spear to deal huge damage. And then, of course, it has... Uh, just long thrust, which can deal good damage versus calves, and just be a good column poke. And then for the Wyvern Master, you have Fire Breath, which is decent. Uh, it's definitely not as good as other row attacks, but it does combo with Baron Garia for setting up, you know, an affliction. You have Diving Thrust, which can be decent. Uh, Dragon's Roar, which is a decent start of battle. There are better ones, but initiative minus 20 on the enemies is quite good. And then, of course, you have Deflect, and then you have Ground Counter. So you have quite a few good classes that use Lance. Oh, yeah, and also both the Lindas can spot, cleanse, and heal, and they both have really good start of battle effects. Rage of the Fairies is arguably the best start of battle effect in the game. It does good damage, and it's a row stun, and gives a fairy, which also boosts the damage of Elemental Roar. And then, of course, you have Boon of the Fairies, which heals for quite a lot and also grants a buff that negates a single debuff. So both of them have pretty high potential and really good damage outputs, and the other classes, there are other spear classes too, like the Werefox, uh, but these are like the notable hard carry classes. And then in addition to these classes being really strong, lances and, well, spears, Fire Emblem's ruined me, uh, has all, <laughs> spears also have like some of the best uniques in the game. So we have the Silver Tridents, which is a hybrid weapon that has a hybrid attack that also attacks a row and it stuns. This is like one of the best weapon skills from any of these weapons. Like the only thing that's really competitive with this are things like Trinity Rain. And even then this instantly hits and doesn't need impetus. So this is just instant row stun. So like if you use this on a team, like if you have like a Sergeant on or whoever, Clive or, you know, Great Knight, a Sergeant, a Wyvern on Lightning Shaker. You can Lightning Shaker the front row, Rage of the Fairies the back row, and then both rows of enemies are stunned. You board nuke them and kill them. It's super efficient. It costs you almost nothing. It requires almost no setup. It has almost no counters, and it's just really good. So that combo is absolutely insane. Uh, so Silver Trident, I would say, is like one of the top three weapons in the game, or maybe even top five, depending on how you play. Uh, but it also has the King's Lance E Hall, which it is just an all stats plus five weapon, but unlike the other ones, it's also a hybrid weapon, so it's perfect for the Lindas. So unlike other weapons that just give physical attack, like the sword, the axe, and I think the bow, this gives you physical and magical, which combos into elemental roar. So it's actually better. <laughs> it's better that it's like this. 
So it's uniquely better in this way than other weapons because it allows this elemental roar combo to be even more effective. And then of course we have uh, the Canyon Lance, which has Shattering Pursuit. It's near max damage, activates after ally attacks, follow up with a column attack of 75 potency, and then also inflicts a piercing strike, or I'm sorry, inflicts physical defense minus 25%. So you get a decent column pursuit that hits, it's almost like wide pursuit, but for columns built into the weapon. And it also applies a defense debuff, allowing you to deal more damage. So if you have like this Clive use Wild Rush, she will follow up with that. And then also she has Hone Spear. So she has two pretty strong column attacks in this case. And there's, I think there's two Canyon Lances in the game too. You can get one pretty early. So it's a pretty powerful weapon. And then of course you have Testarossa, which <laughs> when you first look at it, you're thinking like, all right, this is whatever. But when you actually think about it, it's actually crazy. So it's almost max damage, stun immunity. Critical damage plus 30%. So the way this actually works is it just adds 30%. Not like multiplies and adds it. It just like adds 30%. So if crits do 50% more damage, they now do 80% more damage. So this plus sniper amber lens or keen call makes any attack absolutely ridiculous, including the board nukes. So this is an alternate for the board nukes. This is good for row attack. This is good for column attack. Any AOE attack that crits or that's a guaranteed crit, this weapon is absolutely insane. And there are a few weapons that do this that also run some of the best classes in the game. Uh, and then of course we have Dragoon's War Spear, which is, it is really good on this class. It's a board nuke. It's not the strongest board nuke and it needs, uh, typically you want a Mystic Conferral this and then also hit it with like a guaranteed crit or something. Uh, but with the Heaven, Heaven Wyvern Reigns, you get plus 20% attack and true strike, which is, I would say necessary. And then with Impetus, uh, you know, you give it an extra AP, of course, and then instantly activate. The only problem with Dragoon Dive is that the damage could be better. With guaranteed crits, usually you're killing everything, so it's pretty valuable. And also, you can get a flying unit, which can be used to uh, get speed boosted by items or griffins, then dive bosses, of course. Uh, but that's those are some of the main ones. There's other weapons as well that are good. Uh, of course, there's the gold green weapons, but the, every single class in the game has access to these. Uh, but there's also, very importantly, the Runic Spear, which you can get very early, and this allows early soldiers and early knights to poke down armors without having a mage in your team. Uh, mages tend to be lower durability, die to assists easily. This allows any unit to kill armors, or at the very least, put good damage on them. Oh, yeah, and the twins' weapons can be used by anyone that uses lances, that uses spears. Like the Thunderous Thrust, Frozen uh, Thrust weapons, I don't think most people know this. I think they assume that only the twins can use them. Uh, but for example, you could have Chloe on either one and you gain access to that 200 potency attack. So any unit, so like a, let's say you have the twins on board nuke lances, board nuke spears that are crazy. Any unit can use either of the twin to bows and they gain access to a freeze and a 200 potency hybrid attack on a hybrid weapon that also gives a nit plus five magic defense plus five. And then if you forge them, you get uh, 10, 20 stats. So the hybrid attack does more damage. So if you're on a, like look at the soldier's attack right now, 52 physical attack, 50 magical attack. It has surprisingly good magical attack. So a lot of these units actually can pull this off and leverage like runic spear pretty well and the twin bows pretty well. And there are very few weapons in the game that give you access to 200 potency hybrid attack, stun or freeze. Actually, there are two weapons that do that and that's these weapons. So they have some of the best weapons of the game and some of the best classes in the game. Uh, there's other things too uh, that some people might like. Oh yeah, then of course Unwavering Spear. Can't forget this. Uh, this is one of the best weapons in the game because it allows any spear user to hit uh, an enemy that has high evasion or that has evade mechanic. And you can forge this too if you really want to, but usually those classes have low HP. So even at like end game, it's low damage is fine. And you can just like poke things out. And it also hits a column while doing this, which is huge value. And then of course you have the Glaive, which gives follow-up plus 20, which just gives you plus 20% to your follow-up. So if you're 50 potency, it puts you at 70 and so on. Uh, so they have a lot of interesting weapons that are just really good. And I would argue this: these are the best classes and weapons in the game, like the combination of these things. A lot of people undervalue Sergeant right now. It can damage carry. Like if you throw it on certain weapons and certain builds, it can be like, especially Silver Trident, uh, so like Silver Trident, no accessories. This level 35 Chloe is 64 attack. 
uh, with Lightning Shaker, and then also 44 Magic Attack, because Lightning Shaker is a hybrid. So you want classes that can benefit. And then if you really want to go nuts, you could do something like this, which is like super huge investment, but <laughs> you can get her killing pretty easily if you really want to make it crazy. All right, and then for like, she could like King Call, she could even Active Gift. So she could Active Gift once, then King Call once or whatever, like whatever you want them to do. Two crowns is probably overkill. I would say just like one crown and then whatever. You could just do generic damage increases too. It doesn't have to be too crazy. You could just run like, um, just like Warrior's Medallion and like Sorcerer's if you really wanted to. You want to keep it cheap and then like an initiative fix. So something like this. Oh, also, if you really wanted to, she could be on Wide Pursuit. Here's another thing she could do with this. You could like be, you could be on wide pursuit on physical and then run just like a sapphire. I feel like sapphires are pretty yeah. So then you get a big, a reasonably big trident, and then you get two wide pursuits. <laughs> so like soldiers can deal damage. Soldiers and sergeants they can be damage carries. Uh, now this is like an assist damage unit that can also like keen call as needed, first aid as needed. So if you want to just wide pursuit once, then you could have her on keen call so that she keen calls other attackers. Uh, this team is not. Like, this is just a bunch of Lance units. I do not recommend making this a team. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it for this one. I just want to talk about why Lancers are basically the best, in my opinion. I don't really see anything being better than Lances. There are some classes, like Baron Garia is really good, but she's not as good as Bored Nukes. It's just not the case. Bored Nukes can completely kill enemy teams before Baron Garia. Like, Baron Garia needs setup. She's an S tier unit. She needs setup. She needs to get her big thing off. And of Axe units, like Berengaria and Doom Knight are like the best things. Uh, you could argue Gladiator is good, but it's slow as hell. Uh, sword classes, Elaine's like really the best sword class. A lot of the sword classes are like single hits, bow classes. Uh, Unifi is obviously really good, but she needs impetus and can be countered by owls and requires more setup than the Lance classes. And then for staff classes, it's the same thing. It requires more setup. You have to get impetus, so you need to use one of the two Cat Ear Hoods to get the Trinity Rain combo off. And there are counters to it. Uh, you have to, you can, they're easy to deal with. I think we overhype them. They're easy to deal with, like the Feather Shields. You just have to drain like one of their passive points and then they can't flip the, they can't mirror you. So it's really not that bad, uh, but it is more setup and those things are slower. So I think this is just the fastest weapon type in the game. And then also Great Knight never falls off and is always good. Some people argue it's bad in Drakenhold uh, but if you know what you're doing, you can manage the enemy wyverns and protect them. You can always have something cover it that isn't a flyer or that isn't a horse, like a Virginia or an Elaine or something like that to, the, to uh, negate the wyverns effectiveness versus them. And then they'll be fine. I could also blind the wyvern. There's so many things you can do. Damage debuff, blind it, uh, give the thing barrier, uh, give it evasion. There's like evasion tools that you can give. Uh, you can get early elves and then give evasion through that. There's all sorts of things. But yeah, thank you for checking this out, and I'll see you next one. Peace.